there's certain people and certain women who weaponize and are down to weaponize the police over a man. They're arguing with their dude or they're catching their dude cheating. They threw all your clothes out the window. They bleached everything. Y'all get in the argument, but you ain't touch her. You about to leave or some shit. She threatens to call the cops on you. Or she shows up to the house. It's your house, but she's living with you. Now she's she wants you to leave out of your own place. You're like, I'm not leaving. I'm paying the, I'm paying the bills in. Well, I'm gonna call the cops and say you hit me. The police unilaterally are gonna believe the woman. Welcome back to the channel. Now that was a clip of DJ Academic speaking about something that I'm sure every man that clicked on this video has dealt with at least once in his life. And that's the toxic woman. Now, as men, we all know the proper way to deal with such a woman is to not deal with her at all. But sometimes it's not that easy. Case in point, OTF Duty Low, who had to battle allegations that he was touching his own son. Now, what was the reason for such accusations? Who knows? But we all know it doesn't matter what the reason is. Because once a woman says something, you're guilty until proven innocent. Take a listen to what academics had to say. Men usually are on the defense. I don't, my mom was there, she could tell you. If I've ever been in an argument with a woman, number one, I love calling her. Because only women can save you at that point. As a man, you're defenseless. Here's the thing with women too. They, they know they're so protected. A woman will, say a woman catches you cheating. You ain't blah, 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 blah. She'll punch you in the mouth. Bang! You just got hit in the mouth. Yo, chill. You can't hit her. Don't hit her, don't hit her, fellas. Don't do it. But you're like, yo, chill. With By the way, you also gotta be careful grabbing her. If she's one of these little red bone tender bones, they bruise easily. You don't even want to touch her or even try to restrain her. Cause she as soon as you let go of her, she's running to that bathroom to take pictures of that bruise. Cause she they know what's going on. So you can't, you gotta just literally duck, bob, weave, like. You know what mama says? And this is the most thing to do. Run out of the house, run into the middle of the streets, keep your camera phone on. And I don't know what their situation was. And I don't even want to assume, but I hope it's not this. I've seen women, when they realize that a relationship won't work, resort to then allegations or threaten you with allegations to keep you in line. She, keep, she find out you keep, that same girl she don't like it's the third time she caught you cheating you're trying to leave she won't she won't pull it out like a, a yellow card in, in soccer yo hey hey I, i'll get locked up in a lot of toxic relationships you gotta sit there my theory is this that is either cheating or he was about to dip and you know when you, you ever broke up with a girl and cheated on a girl or Y'all just, y'all ended on bad terms. First thing she says, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga. Second thing she gonna say, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga. What, what, what did Fabio Foreign's um, girl say? And, and he says, give me that. So you're, you're coming out now to tell us that you were what you believe is a man and you continue to do it for years and even have kids with the man. But now you want to expose and to the public. Make that make sense. By the way, she also came out later to say she was lying. Dealing with a toxic woman is one of the worst things you can do. It's one of the most stressful situations you could put yourself in, bro. Don't no real man want to deal with that. Only little boys get excited off of those toxic environments. Like Ax said, you can't even properly restrain them. You arguing. You go to leave, they stand in front of the door. Oh, you ain't going nowhere. Now you got to physically try to move her, as he said, and there's marks on her. Now she wants to try to take pictures of that, video of that, because by the time she called the cops, they don't even need to be there. Those marks might have went away. Just do yourself a favor and just don't deal with it. Hell, I even had one try to call the cops on me way, way back because she jumped on me and I pushed her off and it hurt her feelings. She started to cry. <laughs> like, bro, bro, just do yourself a favor. Just leave him alone. But yeah, that's all I got to say, bro. 
it's just is it's not worth doing but let me know what you think hit that comment section i'm out